I don't think it, I don't think you can actually eat cheese. <laughs> the Rot or Christopher Walken? Both, actually. I don't know if he's lactose intolerant or something. <laughs> but also, the rat has a giant hole in his stomach. I don't think he can actually just eat <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm zoning out. All right. <laughs> you could, you could have said, like, we could have postponed if you were like. No, oh, I'm paying attention. Let's go. <laughs> okay. If you say so. I do say so. That's right. We ended up in Los Angeles last time, or something. Yeah. Oh god, this is reality, where the heart has fucking gloves and bitch slaps you. <laughs> yeah. After what seems to be an extended drug trip. <laughs> oh. In all fairness, we've all had some drug trips like that in our time. You start off in the ether, and then three days later you wake up in a bathtub, missing both of your kidneys. So then you have to take your roommate's kidneys. And then, like, the police still have a manhunt out on you till this day. Yeah, that's why I moved away from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I was running out of roommates and or kidneys. That's, that's a fucking Florida man headline, though. Florida man steals kidneys to power dead rat. Oh, kidneys, kidneys be upon you, rat. You think they would need livers down there, but no, apparently. Kidney. No, it's a well-known fact that you can run a rat entirely off of a single kidney. Yeah, just one. No other organs necessary, just a kidney. Rats are a lot like Lego. In that they hurt if you staff on them. Oh. Honestly, that's the thumbnail though, just like them hugging it out. <laughs> Dorks, I swear. Just because of the angle of this, do you think, like, the heart goes in through a side hook and then, like, links hands through the chest hole? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> donut hug. Just a weird side hug slash full hug. Fuck's sake, that's going on the list of shit to draw. It's just like him hanging from his door stop, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good music. Oh. Nicer than two. Throw a fast one at us. Pretty speedy. Yep. Oh, Christ. Fuck! Or immediately. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> it's not a stream of us if I don't forget the controls and then die like a million fucking times. I mean, it's, that's how you entertain the stream, of course. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I can't even imagine what this song's gonna be like in hard mode. Unless they come for, like, top notch gameplay, then. Yeah, no, why are you here? <laughs> like, we why? have fun during our games. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> that wasn't a dig at you. <laughs> no, not that, just like, why the fuck can I not hit him? The game is really weird with its rules. Like, you can only jump, like, once in the air, and it could be after a dash or before a dash. And then, like, when you're targeting something, it's either you're using the jump button or the drop button. It's like, there's so much shit going on. So it's been going on with you and your worlds, then, over the name. Flossing devious rat things. Yeah, okay. Working on them. 
Yeah, what are you been doing aside from that, though? Kit, like... I know that you've had an unsuccessful career in plumbing this week, but, like, what else you been up to? Are we allowed to bring that up or will the plumbers union still be after your hands? Uh, well, it's out there now, so... <laughs> oh, and that's not OSHA complaint. Definitely <laughs> not. That's just the catchphrase for the stream. That's not OSHA complaint. Mmm, anal lube. Honestly, we've broken so many... <laughs> I, I think regulations. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this level anymore. This is so fucking fast. You sure you're not hallucinating still? Because this is kind of a clusterfuck for a, a, a reality level. And then David. Oh, we got an A though. For, for, I'm still on form. I'm still on form, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crap. It's impossible to fail as long as you have, like, some support. And then, and then Davin's just like, who this goat? And that's, not, that's not important, Davin. Like, we're keeping him alive in the basement, and that's all that's important. <laughs> File my taxes, Trinity. <laughs> you may get to eat this week. <laughs> I'm joking, we don't pay taxes. He is still like condemned. I, I thought you. I thought you were from the progressive part of the world. <laughs> oh no! That no no. You're thinking of Deutschland. Ah. Uh... Where all of the Swiss live. Fuck's sake. How much do you think it costs to rent a studio apartment in this city? Uh... I don't think it costs that much in other parts of the world. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> and you don't see a like, you know, I don't know, more progressive countries in the world have homeless problems. <laughs> mm. We must break back into the lab. Let's kill him again. <laughs> For fuck's sake. For realsies this time. Oh god! And then, like, like the human, like the the scientist just turns around and he takes off the COVID mask. It's Rod Sterling underneath. <laughs> Imagine a world, if you will, in which a rat can control time. I'm not going anywhere of this, but wow, wouldn't that be fucked up? You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Imagine one of the most insignificant animals in the world suddenly has the power to control your every day-to-day -day life. <laughs> wow, wouldn't that be fucked up? <laughs> Just like, I would be very shook, yeah. <laughs> Rodster- oh, fucking hell, that's- that rat has terrible character model. <laughs> I love the- like, That's like him before, he, he would, they were just like, let's make him chunky. I love the fact that you've, like, you've pissed off Davin by calling the rats insignificant. Oh. And they'd know, because they're like a level 6 warlock rat. On the sliding scale. Really, do you think about rats every day in your day-to-day -day life? I mean, someone has it, to. It's only, it, it's only when it comes up, it's just like, is, is that a rat? <laughs> was, that, was, was that a rat, like, fucking b-boying it up over there? Is it just spinning on its head? What's going on? <laughs> Occasionally, you have to breed rats in your spare time in an attempt to teach them to break dance. I mean, there's such a thing called, uh, industrial sabotage, you know? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, boy. Ex to make it look convincing, you have these rats. <laughs> <laughs> Extends his rat drug trip. Why the fuck is the heart unaffected? Well, obviously, because it's not a rat heart. <laughs> I'm too smart to die. Walks into fucking traffic. <laughs> 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 like we're too smart to die. Uh <laughs> like just just walks into traffic clutching a PhD in the hopes that that will shield him from the traffic.
The song is changing the fucking speed really out to fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Like it, like it makes sense because <laughs> there's pauses in the song, but at the same time during gameplay is just like the biggest vibe check. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Wait. <laughs> Fuck me, I died to the platform. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, do this some fucking hard mode if I want that platinum. Oh, man. <laughs> That's gonna be hell on that. Rising that industrial stinging metal elevator. Then the fucking jump for fuck's sake. It's not my day to day. It's nice to know the cactuses aren't part of the drug trip. Like, who the fuck's breeding giant cactuses in their spare time? I don't know, you're in a park, uh... Botanist? Wait, why would cactuses be in that park? Never mind. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> giant like, mutant cactuses bred by Gardner, who's very scared of cactuses. Fucking... I, you'd be scared of cactuses too? You'd be scared of cactuses too if they suddenly started vibing. What, what would you do if your cactuses started vibing outside this plant shop? My first thought would be, I always knew. See, plant, Plants vs. Zombies had something going on, they knew. <laughs> These are my plants, I stuck googly eyes on them because I'm scared of cactuses. Well, uh. yeah, googly eyes takes away the, the scariness of most things. <laughs> That's that's the real twist, is that, like, uh, you can't hear it because the game's out of voice acting, but the rat god actually just sounds like Christopher Walken. <laughs> rat! Rat! <laughs> come, come over here and get the cheese, rat! <laughs> you've, you've got to put it inside your face! I don't think it, I don't think you can actually eat cheese. <laughs> the rat or Christopher Walken? Both, actually. I don't know if he's lactose intolerant or something. But also, the rat has a giant hole in his stomach. I don't think he can actually just eat anything. And now, cheese making tips for a man who's very scared of dairy products. There we go. I'm getting that, like, what is this, like, episode four scene of Rhythm Game, but neither of the hosts can fucking hear the music. Uh, well, we know what the music sounds like, <laughs> but that's not <laughs> neither here nor there. Oop. No, I just fell through the wind. I fell through the wind. Jesus, you dropped like a rock. <laughs> well, we've established she's very heavy rock. Yeah, two ton rat. Still, I didn't expect you to fall that fast. The science experiments were not kind. Now do they get a good look at it? The car just seems to have been spliced to part of a fucking bird. Possibly. I, there, was a, there was a reason he was in, like, a cage by himself. No, the cactus, not the rat. Oh. The kit like the cactus appears to have eyes. Mm. Interesting. The, 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 rat, the rat was in a cage by himself because he's too strong for this world. <laughs> I mean, he wiped out an entire cage of, of other rats. <laughs> How the fuck do we do this? It's gonna move if I get on with the fire, isn't it? E yeah. So the idea is you're supposed to land on it, I think? And then jump off at the last second. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, how is this reality? Why are there moving platforms? <laughs> It turns out we're actually on the fucking disc world and we've wandered into the lair of the Knack McFeagle. Like, no, 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 you're awake. This is reality. Like, uh-huh. Why are there... I don't remember there being so many moving platforms in this park. Obviously, you've never been to Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia is a rat's home. What are you talking about? They had to put in moving platforms to help Tony DeVito get around. <laughs> and I just picked uh, them up and tossed them, please. <laughs> hey! 
A fucking A. Johnny De- <laughs> That's actually how Johnny DeVito gets around. Just giant slingshots. Oh.